Good morning, everyone. It is Monday morning. I had a very long weekend. I went up to my sister's um, boutique up in Minnesota to <clears throat> help her out with Nickel Dickle Days, which is a big festival up there. And last week I did not film because I couldn't find any batteries for my phone. I searched my house high and low, but I did come across them. It took me most of the week, but I did find them. So here I am. And the theme of the day today is black and white. So let me show you what I have. Um, first of all, this is just like a yellow beaded uh, chain necklace. And I have on the matching dangling earrings. And then this is just a white blazer that I got from um, Eloquy, actually. And you know the funny thing is? <clears throat> I got ink stains right here. Um where this is folded up, and I didn't think I could wear it again, but I just folded the sleeve so I could wear it, and you can't even see the ink stains. So, and then this is just a black tank that I've had for years, never got rid of it. Put it on with a yellow stretchy belt. And this is just a, a black and white knit skirt that I've had for probably 15 years. And it's got a little bit of a ruffle on the bottom. And uh, I got it from J.C. Penney, I believe, way back in the day. So, and I put it on with just a pair of my Birkenstock black shoes. And there's my black and white day. Okay, tomorrow is weekend wear to work day. So I have to find something where I can actually wear it to work that I might have worn over the weekend. So I'll be thinking about that today since I can't really go to work in sweats. So um, I hope you guys had a good weekend and a good week and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Good morning. It's Tuesday and today's fashion challenge. Maggie. She doesn't like the tripod. Uh, she barks at it. Um, we had to wear weekend wear to work. So believe me, you do not want to see what I wear when I'm actually like cleaning my house and doing all my chores inside. So I decided to wear like, if John said, hey, you want to go grab some dinner, or go grab some lunch or something, or if I was going to my grandkids' uh, ball games or soccer games or whatever. So this is pretty casual day. Just some thin black hoops. Got them somewhere cheap, I don't know where. And this is a black chain necklace that has like a bead here to lock it in place. Got this off of eBay. And this is just a short sleeve red t-shirt that I got from Eddie Bauer on clearance. Along with my, you've seen me wear this a million times, my white sleeveless jean vest. And then I put it on with a black and white polka dotted um, skort. I have a bunch of skorts that I wear all summer long. Pretty versatile. And then I put it on with just some red, uh, they're not Converse, but they kind of look like Converse gym shoes that I got from Macy's on clearance. So here is my weekend wear to work day. And I think today is officially the first day of fall. So um, net tomorrow is mad about plaid because plaid just to me reminds me of fall. So I might have to dig out some of my fall clothes to see what I can come up with. But until then, have a great day and I will see you all then. Bye. Good morning. Happy hump day. Today is casual plaid day and um, so what I did I didn't actually put any earrings in I was trying to keep it really really casual and um, so what I did is I put on this pink just a tank top from Walmart and then this blue long sleeve plaid shirt so let me show you I got from Stitch Fix I believe along with this um, pink sweater. 
it's like a scalloped edge sweater so it's only going to get to about 60 degrees today so when it gets a little warmer in the office i can take the sweater off and then i paired it with a pair of my cut from the cloth um boot cut pants along with i got these i think from torrid and these are just like a dusty pink faux suede flat and here is my casual plaid day come say hi maggie oh she's getting so big She's about 21 pounds now. She grew six pounds in three weeks from her last vet visit. But anyway, tomorrow is Thursday. I hope you guys have a good hump day, and we're signing off. Bye-bye. Good morning. It is Thursday, and today we had to dress like our style icon. So I thought about it last night, and I always admired the way Princess Diana dressed. Now, I know a lot of her fashions were the 80s or 90s, but what I did find is that she wore a lot of the same color pants and tops with blazers with coordinating belts and I found probably three or four different pictures like that so I'm kind of doing the same thing these are just some crocheted or macrame earrings with some gold couldn't tell you where I got them and then this gold coin necklace I know I got from Nordstrom's on sale and then I also got this uh, charm bracelet on sale at Nordstrom's as well. So what I'm wearing, this is actually, I love this shirt. I haven't worn it yet and I don't know why because it does fit really good without the belt too. But this is like a three quarter length sleeve button down yellow top with like a split hem. And this is from Foxcroft, and I got it from my Amazon Prime box. And this is just a stretchy, like, caramel-colored belt. Because she can tuck her stuff in, Princess Diana could. I, I can't at this point yet. And then um, for my pants, and then these are just a little bit lighter yellow pants with some... Um, distressing on them. I honestly didn't know I had these. I mean, I always knew I had a pair of yellow pants, but I didn't know they had distressing on them. But I wore them with the yellow top, and then I put on my um, calf hair. Uh, whose are these? These are Steve Madden calf hair shoes. This was my very first trunk club box. And then I paired it up with just a blue blazer that I've had forever. And uh, here's my Princess Diana look. One more day till the weekend, and luckily, I don't have much to do because last weekend was crazy. Flying up to Minnesota on Friday, flying home on Sunday, then getting up bright and early to do tailgating in the Bears game. I was, I'm still exhausted from last weekend, so I am really looking forward to this weekend. I hope you guys are too. I'll see you here tomorrow morning. Bye-bye. Happy Friday. It was a very long week. Uh, not much happened for me this week. I kind of kept it low since I was so busy last week and uh, last weekend with Minnesota and the Bears game. So I'm looking forward to a much quieter uh, weekend. And I was supposed to wear something sexy today. However, um, I have a meeting with our accountant and the owner of our company and our banker. So I couldn't really get too crazy. So what I did instead is I have on this um, sleeveless red lacy top. Lace is kind of sexy, right? Leopard print's kind of sexy. Um, and this is from Torrid. And then I just have on these little leopard earrings. Again, I didn't want to go too crazy. And this is a leopard blazer. I originally had on a leopard jean jacket, but I thought it looked a little too casual. It doesn't have to be, the banker and the accountant is going to be kind of casual too, but because um, it's a casual first time meeting. So um, I just wore the blazer. 
because uh, I thought it looked a little bit more dressy with the lace top. And then I just put on, and this, um, first of all, this jacket is from Kenzie, and I got it from, um, I think, Dia and Co. Not sure. These are just black Kenzie pants that I picked up at TJ Maxx a couple years ago. And I only dry clean them so they stay nice and black. And then I just put on a pair of my red leather flat shoes. So um, this is my casual sexy outfit. Okay, hope you guys have a great weekend. I know I'm looking forward to it, and I'll see you back here on Monday. Bye, everyone.